Hey YouTubers, it's your boy MTC Tukey25 coming at you today with another unboxing. But but I'm gonna start off a little different. You know, I don't know, like I said, I don't normally do shout outs, but uh, you know, it's been a lot been going on on YouTube and and the subscribers personalize and you know, in daily living, daily living sometimes. We have to deal with things in life that uh, that uh, a lot of times are unexpected. But the way we get through them is through the grace of God. Let me start by saying that. And and with with uh, com camaraderie of your family and uh, ultimately the sport, the RC hobby, kind of takes the edge off of things. But so I'm gonna do some shout outs. Uh, today, before I, did, I do this unboxing, because I don't do a lot of them, and all these guys' names that I mentioned, I think are true friends, true subscribers, and uh, contribute a lot to the RC hobby, okay? Uh, I'm going to start off with uh, Rockbud43, my main man, one of my main men. He's cool. Check his channel out. He's doing some big things. J Star 7543. My man. Thunder. 19301. Tinsley Smith, 2305. Sunspit. Come on, man. Let's get that off and run, homie. Get them wires soldered. Go check his channel out, guys. He's doing some big things too. Mobe8873. Jess34753. Peace, Jess. My Pitbull82. One of my good friends across the waters. Uh, Darren Dorian. One love, homie. DJ DJ215. Menboy144. STL Racing, Manos RC, Too Quick For You 104, Pony 1982, GGJ Fly Guy, what's up homie, check his channel out, this brother really doing some good things, check his channel out, Ray Luna 1983, congrats on your 80 mile an hour speed run Ray, thumbs up brother. Mr. Beefy, 71, and R.C. Druggy, and of course, last but not, not least, one of my main main homies, Mumford Dale, a.k.a. Tat Money, I love you, man, but you hold it down, brother, you're doing some, you're doing things the way you need to be doing them, at XO1 looking good, I got some stickers, man, but I know you told me you didn't want, you didn't want factory stickers, I'm going to look through my little, my little stash and see what I can Muster up before you in the colors of black and white scheme. I got some Max Amps uh, stickers that are black. They might you might want to use them. I don't know. We'll see. But let me, like I said, let me look at my stash. So I'll let, I'll get back with you. And let me get on to the unboxing. I'm trying to make this short and sweet, but you know how that goes. Got my uh, my monthly magazine. From Tower, and uh, looks like this is the holiday edition. Save it to a hundred dollars. So you, you, you guys, if you don't have a RC, I mean a, a a home that you purchase all your RC products from, check into Tower. They gonna give you a better deal than most other places. They mainly got good stuff too, but you know, everybody got their preference. So this is the number one. Then let me go here. The second unbox, unpackaging, unboxing. This is something that I've been needing. I, I uh, I've been needing for a minute. I, I've got the uh, the Castle Link, okay, but that's only when you at the house and you got your computer in front of you. Well, you guys know I go out to the spot on the weekend. And uh, the best thing to have for that is the pack is the uh, 
the field link, the castle field link, where you can make all your changes to your ESC, which in turn translates to your motor functioning. Okay, that comes straight from Castle Creations uh, out of Olive, Kansas. Um, and how I was able to get that, uh, I believe when I brought my last uh, combo, motor combo, they had a card in the uh, in the box for this card, field link card, for 10 bucks. Well, the actual price of this unit is like $35. So you get a $25 discount. That damn good. I like that. The hobby being so expensive, you want to get discounts wherever you can get them at any time. So, one love to Castle Creations for keeping me going. Okay. The other box comes to you for, comes to me not you <laughs> comes to me from who I mentioned earlier Tower Hobbies okay this out the way and uh, some things that I needed not that I wanted but that I needed okay so that's that pit stand Deluxe car stand for your RC, okay? They got good price on that pitch stand. I think it was like 15 bucks. Can't beat that. Now, I've got one that I made, but, you know, nothing like having a, something that's already put together. You have to do it yourself. And then, last but not least, I, uh, I needed some heavy-duty springs for the XO1. And as you see, I got them. Part number 5445. Spring Shock GTR 6.4 rate purple. These are the purple springs for the Revo. Okay. So I'm going to take the stock springs off the XO1 and incorporate these. That should be nice. And the last thing I needed for the X01 was part number 6427X. That's the battery hold down retainer. Extra tall for bigger batteries. So um, the stock battery is fine, but you know it's all about speed with me these days. So I needed something that's going to hold them batteries in place other than a stock retainer. And I think I paid three bucks. That's three dollars. You can't beat that. You can't beat that. And uh, what else? Uh, it's a two in, it's a two in one, two in the one parallel Dean's connectors that I needed for the Helion Invictus. Because I want more runtime out of that baby. All right. Uh, I think the stock batteries, not the stock battery, but with my setup that I use in Invictus, I usually get up to uh, you know 25 minutes. But if I can run two two cells or two three cells in parallel, what does that mean? That means I double my runtime. I get an hour to hour and 15 minutes runtime with running two batteries in parallel. So, just trying to get things I need to to further the hobby, guys. Um, like I said, I'm gonna try to keep this, I am gonna try to keep this short and sweet. Um, I appreciate all the subscribers, all the guys that watch my videos, all the guys that comment. All the guys that give me thumbs up and keep that keeps me going, okay? Believe it or not, it keeps me going. So when I don't get a chance to get out up to the spot on on Sunday afternoons, it's like a it's like a thorn in the side because then I gotta wait a whole nother week to get out there. 
And, and like Rock Bud said, I'm pretty much hooked. I love the sport. I love the hobby. And I'm going to stay in it for life. But with that said, one love. It's your boy MTC2P25. Holling at you. Peace out.